Coming up, the unboxing and tour of my Royal Exclusive Dream Box. So look what's coming down the driveway, a special delivery from FedEx. Yes, direct from Germany. The Royal Exclusive Dream Box is being offloaded and it was dropped right on my lawn there. I'm going to uncrate it and put it on a hand truck and get it into the house. But uh, yeah, that's as far as it was uh, dropped off and the FedEx guy took off and then it was up to me to uncrate it. So I, I went into action with the drill and got the top uh, pieces of plywood off and I removed all the panels on the side and got it all uh, ready to rock and roll. There she is. A lot of blue little styrofoam blocks to help cushion it during transport there from Germany and uh, yeah well those were great little toys there for my uh, dog Wilson so we played a little fetch you know why not. There we go. So I, I got the dream box on a hand truck and started going to the side yard. There goes Wilson again and got the dream box into the house and eventually got it into the sump room there she is so now what i like to do is just go through all the different features and options that i got on this dream box so overall this dream box is 74 gallons it measures approximately 59 inches long by 24 inches wide and 14 inches tall it is made of pvc and it is bulletproof so let's start with the inlets on this dream box. As you can see, I've got some of them hard plumbed and I'm gonna talk about all the plumbing that I did on this dream box in a separate video. It's really, really involved. But what you can see here is I have five different inlets and two of them are for the drains for the display tank. And four of these inlets are one and one half inch. And the, uh, the fifth one here is a one inch um, inlet. But the really cool thing is that you know, you're not locked into the specific size of the fitting. They do come off pretty easily and there are different fittings that come with the, uh, the dream box. So you could just easily slide those different fittings in and out, or you could use, you know, adapters. So for instance, on this one right here, this is a one inch inlet fitting, but I used a, an adapter to knock it down to three quarter inch. So it's good to have that flexibility. A neat feature with these dream boxes is that they come with these cutout covers that you can easily take off and do your necessary maintenance. But the big thing here is that it really does cut down on the evaporation. So it's, it's just nice to have it all sealed off and very accessible for maintenance. So it's really something that um, I like with these dream boxes in terms of these uh, covers. Very cool. In terms of mechanical filtration, this dream box comes with 10 different filter socks. The first three are 800 micron filter socks, so they're grabbing the, the larger particles. Then the next three are 400 micron socks, and the last four are 200 micron socks. So very substantial mechanical filtration system in this dream box. In terms of the skimmer, I've got a Bubble King Double Cone 200. It's rated for systems up to 264 gallons. My tank is 225 gallons, and I really didn't want to get a oversized skimmer because if you do have an oversized skimmer, then it's going to be skimming on an inconsistent basis, and that's not a good thing. So if you have a lot of fish in the tank and a heavy bio load with those fish, then yeah, you would want to step it up with a skimmer, but I'm, that's not really my plan. In terms of adjusting the water level inside the skimmer, it's really easy. It just turns this wedge pipe either clockwise or counterclockwise. In terms of cleaning, the top pops right off. And you could also unscrew the cup, which is nice. As for the uh, feed pump, it's an RD3 Mini Speedy. It's 50 watt DC and it's controllable. I also have two probe and dosing tube holders. 
there are actually different um, places in the dream box that you can glue these in. You have to actually glue them in. They, they don't uh, do them at the factory for you. So you have options in terms of where you can do that. But I like the fact that it's glued in, so it's really rock solid. And, and you know certainly there are some probe holders out there that um, you attach with magnets. And I've had you know some experiences with those where they could slip and move down, and that's certainly not a good thing. So it's nice to have something that's really permanent in there and nice and clean. So moving on to the next compartment of the dream box is where I've got my media reactor. I'm going to use this one for activated carbon. And a really cool part here is that um, you have the option to have these actually screwed into the bottom of the dream box. I think that's really neat. It's just um, going to really hold it uh, well. It's not going to float around in there. So yeah, just unscrew it and then you just would be able to unscrew the top to swap out your media. Really neat. Then there's some pipe works. So this is pipe works right here. It's got a valve on it and that's all plumbed in to my return pump so I can adjust the flow with that. In the next part of the dream box, we've got this baffle right here and that could be um, slid up or down by adjusting these screws. So that's pretty cool. You could adjust the water level in that part of the sump. Next up is a compartment um, for the heater. So this is where you could put a heater on here. In the next section of the dream box, in the last section, I've got two return pumps. They're Red Dragon 100 watt high pressure pumps. And I, I do like to have two return pumps in my systems just for redundancy and also to um, give me more pumping power. And I'll, I'll go through this in the plumbing video, but one of these pumps is going to serve a, a couple of different purposes. It's going to help in terms of doing water changes and it's also going to feed a frag tank. So. I do like to have two for those reasons, plus redundancy. In terms of fittings for the return pumps, I've got two of them. They're one and one quarter inch, and I'm using one inch PVC piping, so I've got some adapters to knock down the one and one quarter inch to one inch. This is the controller cockpit for the Dream Box, so this is where the three different controllers for the pumps are mounted. I like it a lot, neatly organized. They're high and dry and easy access. Another feature I wanted to point out are the cable holders so you can take the cables for the three different pumps and put them off to the side store them nice and easily there that's great and last but not least is the LED lighting system inside this dream box so you can actually see what you're doing you can change the colors and uh, hey check this feature out the dream box can be the life of the party Anyway, many thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I will put links to Marine Depot and Reef Bum in the video description below. See you next time.